Hey guys. So I just canned all of these pickles. And it's not a whole lot of jars, but it's my first time doing it. So I am now getting ready to can some dilly beans. And I also added in my own banana peppers, onions, dill, of course. I think that's it. So I added in some extra stuff because I have it. And I'm doing all this in a hot water bath. And I'm just excited. So I'm putting in a bunch of stuff. And we'll see if it turns out well or not. I think it will. So my recipe was pretty simple. It's just I cut it all in, in less than half. So like a quarter of the recipe because I don't have a lot. So it's everything's from my garden. So banana pepper, onion, green beans, dill, and then like a quarter teaspoon of the canning pickling salt, um, a cup of vinegar, a cup of water, and then I have cayenne pepper sprinkled on top. So I'm doing two of these size jars for my dilly beans. I had it in a bigger jar in here with my last jar of pickles which I also added a banana pepper and some onion in. Oh and my garlic. I've got garlic in there too. And one of my jars I guess had a minor crack that I didn't see and it busted open. So I'm doing two more little jars to try to compensate for losing a jar. So I'm excited about this batch because I did the sweet pickles and I'm doing the dilly beans now but I I have one jar that has some of the cucumber pieces in it too just to see how it tastes. Now I have my lids sanitized in here and then my brine is in here heating up. I've got my funnel and I packed it all to get rid of the bubbles and stuff with this. So I also wipe my lids with vinegar to make sure it's all clean and sanitized. My jars are freshly washed and still warm from being cleaned. So they're going to go in here for about 10 minutes and then they sit out on here and all of my lids have popped really well. So stay tuned and I'll let you know how all of it tastes. But dilly beans are amazing and I had to do my own because green beans are like my favorite. So also make sure you leave like an inch headspace on your jars when canning or water bathing them. And I use the um the packer around the edges and all to get the bubbles and extra space out so everything is completely full except for the you know the space at the top you want everything packed in there well so it processes properly god bless guys see you next time